Hi, this is Gary Auden, and this is an Educast, Many Markets, One Partner. And this is brought to you by Telecom Reseller and Cetus. Today we have John Grubb, Senior Vice President of Marketing for Cetus, and I will be moderating this session so that you can learn something about the idea behind the advantages of a single source telephone endpoint purchasing partnership. Because what you want to think about is going one place for all the phones, especially avoiding proprietary phones that only work with one particular vendor's technology. So let's discuss what we're going to discuss here. The single source purchasing relationship, identifying new vertical markets that may be opportunities for you, especially working with Cetus, why a multi-market endpoint sales strategy is so important, and how to leverage phone features and capabilities to create new sales opportunities. So let's start off, John, with the first question, and that is, what's the advantage of a single producer partnership? Well, we have it all, and we've been in business since 1982, and we've been primarily focused in the hospitality market, but our phones have always been sold for a variety of applications and industries. We have opportunities, you know, in hospital, nursing home, care, lodging, airlines, warehousing. So the fact that telephones are relatively ubiquitous, they'll fit in in many applications. And it's a great idea for telecom resellers, in, in our view, to work with Cetus because we have the phones and we have the experience uh, manufacturing and also selling and supporting into these various areas. I think something important we need to bring out here is people keep saying the phone is dead, but I don't conceive of desktop or laptop or cell phones available in all locations, and so there's going to be a lot of places where you need phones, and you need to create a partnership not only that is good for you, but one that you can trust long term. Yes, uh, the, the, the assumption that phones uh, are not relevant or everything's technology driven is really not true. Uh, we offer uh, a variety of analog and, and IP phones, VOIP phones, and our VOIP phones are interop certified with all the major IP, VBX, and cloud system providers. And these are going out the door every day. They're buying, people are buying them for retail, for hospitality, and so on. And so they're very relevant. There's this also been some discussion within hospitality, within the hotel industry, that the phone could go away and that it can morph into some other device. But it really doesn't work. It's really not a good strategy. And so um, we've advised you know, many of our telecom partners uh, to understand the value of the phone. And I know back in December on our EDUCAST, uh, we covered some of those points. I think one of the points that's important is this is a strategy, not a tactical decision, and that there's a lot of competition out there for people who traditionally sold phones but now getting competition from others. Would you uh, talk about that, please? Well, I see, you know, very regularly if I go online, I see our phones, I see status phones for sale online, and some of these are being sold by our traditional telecom dealers and others by online resellers only. And why are they there? They're there because they see new opportunities for phone revenue. They're not uh, tied to the traditional go and meet someone uh, or apply for an RFQ. Obviously, or an RFP, those are very uh, great ways to build business. But uh, the ability to sell online is becoming more and more important. And understanding how to sell online Using a multi-market telephone sales strategy uh, is part of the key to having that success. That brings up another point, because I know you've talked about hospitality and the like when we've had other conversations, but there are a lot of other markets that still need these kinds of phones. I mentioned some of them, and uh, you know, retail is certainly, certainly one at the, uh, the checkout counter, uh, even at the, at the department counter. We sell phones to major retailers for this every day. Uh, Health care. Uh, we sell to hospitals, we sell to uh, nursing homes, or long-term care centers. Patients need phones, whether they're in a hospital or a long-term care center, residents need phones. K through 12 and higher education, 
we sell to both of those education verticals as well as government and military. And we do quite a bit of business uh, with military lodging. We have contracts with uh, some major hotels uh, to provide phones uh, on military bases. I think another important point to bring up is that, and what you're talking about, is selling using media, not just simply selling off a catalog. Would you uh, talk about that for a while? Yes, we have a lot of great catalog partners, and they sell our phones every day, and, and we, uh, we appreciate uh, the business that they bring to us. But we also uh, have to use modern marketing techniques, and I, I think uh, LinkedIn is one of the key strategies on the professional side for both uh, uh, promoting uh, through ads, uh, known as sponsorships, or, um, or simply getting your message out through blogs. Uh, LinkedIn, for example, can be targeted by geography anywhere in the world. It can be targeted by industry and job title. And so a, a telecom dealer, uh, maybe a traditional dealer who sold through traditional methods, can um, you know, get online on LinkedIn, can create a text ad or a sponsorship ad, and send it anywhere in the world, and uh, uh, deliver a message in any language. And so we're not limited anymore uh, by geography or by magazines uh, purely. And you know that very well with Telecom Reseller. You offer the print version, but you also offer an online version. And people are on your website, as we are, almost on a daily basis. What that seems to be talking about is evolving from product selling to solution selling. Yes, and that's really the key. If you have a partner like Satus who has the full line of analog and VOIP phones and the experience taking these to market and supporting them, then you can have some comfort as a telecom reseller in going out into some of these other markets because certainly there are advantages to it. And I'll just give you one, for example. Uh, we sell disposable phones or single-use phones, and we'll touch on this a little bit later, but there's a whole new opportunity for dealers selling to hospitals to drive new revenues for themselves as well as their hospital customers. Let's talk more about that. And the next slide is why does design actually make a difference in the selling of a phone? Well, we offer 12 different telephone design families, and we're about to introduce a 13th at the High Tech 2016 um, trade show. Uh, design sells. Designers are looking for phones that look good in an office, that look good in a, in a retail setting, that look good in a hotel room. And so phones that complement the decor of the guest rooms and offices uh, are preferred. Flat panel uh, phones, we have what we call Teledex E-Series, we have M-Series, we have uh, Telematrix brand 96 and 3300 series, the 3100 series, which uh, are more of the flat panel look, and they complement the look of a flat screen television and modern technology. Now the next slide brings up something most people trivialize, and that is the faceplate can make a big difference in the image of the phone. Yes, not only the image, but how you communicate that image. Uh, we manufacture phones and, and faceplates, offer faceplates in crystal uh, plastic, which uh, doesn't require the plastic overlay, and they hold up very well. But beyond the utility of it, they communicate information, or they can communicate color uh, and, a, and, a, and a sense of pride. For instance, in a, in a dormitory for a school, uh, a faceplate can have the school colors. It can have the university name on it rather than just be a regular non-faceplated phone with nothing on it but buttons. You brought up color. How useful is color in selling a phone? It can be very useful. We offer our Telematrix 96 and 3300 series corded and cordless with uh, up to seven standard or custom color inserts. The color inserts really, uh, again, accentuate uh, a brand or drive branding in a, again in a, in a hotel 
uh, in a dormitory, in a school office. Uh, having something that's colorful and supports the brand is important. We also do custom color phones for sports teams. And so, um, you know, any, any sports team that's looking for a custom phone, uh, we can do it. You know, we could do, uh, do one in the colors of the team. Uh, maybe vary the handset and the, and the chassis color. Let's change direction for a minute because I think the next slide is kind of interesting in that you can actually use your phone to charge another device. Well, guests are bringing multiple smart mobile devices into the room. Research says, you know, they may be bringing as many as four or five into one guest room. And so phones equipped with built-in USB charging ports can help assure that positive guest experience that hotels are looking for. We offer uh, this uh, as an option on some of our phones, uh, this particular one, uh, Teledex uh, E-Series USB, and uh, we're adding this uh, feature to many of our, our other existing phones because the guests are demanding it, and hotels in particular need to respond to it. And it's not limited to hotels only. Anywhere there's a mobile device in the office, in a room, uh, it's important to have a way to plug it in via USB and, and charge the device. I'm looking at the next picture about the USB charging, and it seems to me that this would be really neat to have in a reception area so when people are waiting, they can charge up the portable devices. Absolutely. We developed this primarily for hotels that didn't want to upgrade their phones. They didn't want to buy a new Teledex E-Series USB phone, uh, but they wouldn't mind adding uh, a charging station on the bottom of their existing phone. And so these are available with a port on each side, and the lobby area would be great. And the next one is another interesting addition. That is the capability of doing Bluetooth. Does that mean you can also do streaming through this Bluetooth? Yes, you can stream uh, music audio. There, we have high-end uh, stereo speakers built into the phone. We have USB charging ports on the side. Uh, you can also uh, benefit, or a businessman can, from enhanced speakerphone calls in the office or in a hotel, or you can actually uh, take a call or make a call on your cell phone and stream it through the M-Series Bluetooth phone and listen and talk over the uh, enhanced speaker. And then the, the uh, smartphone can also become a cordless handset in the room. You can use your phone to tie it in with the Bluetooth phone. You mentioned the term single-use phone, and that's kind of new to me. What does that actually mean, and why would I want one? It's a disposable phone that's given to the patient when they check in and sent home with the patient or family when they check out. And the advantage is that the patient gets a clean phone. It uh, helps reduce contaminations, which uh, um, are real, not only on handsets, but in other parts uh, of the patient room. And the incremental uh, revenue source for the hospital and for the teller uh, reseller can be significant. Because when the phone is sent home, maybe it's sent home and charged at $10, then the Revenue uh, goes directly, of course, to to the hotel, or excuse me, to the hospital. Uh, but the um, the dealer also benefits because they're always selling more phones. The phones ring, their phones ringing, and more phones are needed uh, for more patients. Let's change direction and talk about the classic 911 problem, especially in hospitality environments. Why is that so still so important? Well, there was a recent lawsuit, and it's still making, there's still some legislation making its way through Congress as we speak, uh, this tied to Kerry's law and the fact that someone who thought that they could just pick up the phone or, or push a button uh, and get the front desk or 911, they weren't able to do it. They had to dial 9 first, and they didn't know it. And so we're, we've offered for many years what are emergency phones, and they're direct ring down phones, just pick up, and it goes directly to an emergency number. Uh, some hotels, because of this new law and because of the uh, concerns that hoteliers have, uh, they're wanting to develop their own phone with a single button 
that rings down to 911 or to the front desk or to an emergency number on property. And so we're developing uh, phones that have that bright red button uh, and it's not required uh, because it's programmed through the PBX to uh, not require dial 9 first. One of the words that we haven't talked about is the word confidence. And how does a dealer deal with someone like you to purchase with confidence? Well, they can be confident because we've been in business since 1982. We have more than 30 million phones installed globally. We have over 300,000 VIP phones installed globally. And we're approved or preferred by all major hotel franchise corporations on the hospitality side. We work with major military uh, providers. We work with governments. We work with military bases. Uh, we work with technology providers. We work with several major retail um, firms, uh, any of which, if I named, uh, would be well known. And uh, our phones are at the checkouts, uh, the bright red um, uh, wall phones, or uh, a desk phone uh, in many, many uh, retail uh, stores. And so uh, you want to work, a reseller wants to work with a, with a provider, with a manufacturer like Cetus, that has the approvals, um, that understands uh, creative selling, and has the certifications and, and the full product line and the faceplates and the color and the benefits and the values and the uh, single point accountability uh, to make a program work. So we do a lot of the work. We're happy to do it. We do it every day. We have the support teams in place globally, not just in the United States and Canada, but all over the world to make it happen. Let's talk about benefits a little bit more because it benefits the reseller whom you're talking to directly, but that also benefits the end users of the phones. Yeah, the end users uh, can choose, in our case, 12 or 13 design families, different looks that they can take to their customer. Uh, the faceplates are fully supported. Uh, we print our own faceplates in-house. Uh, we have the latest uh, uh, technology in crystal plastic. Uh, and we, uh, we have the color options, as I mentioned, uh, whether it's a handset insert or whether it's a, a, a custom faceplate or whether the color is uh, being developed via a, um, a custom phone. Uh, that's that's uh, manufactured uh, in a particular color or combination of colors. We also mentioned the importance of USB charging and Bluetooth, Bluetooth connectivity uh, because we have to realize that just like ourselves, when we are going somewhere, we have smart devices and we want to connect, we want to charge, and we want to have uh, phones that are plugged into an RJ45 or an RJ11 uh, or 14 and that are plugged, already plugged into a wall socket to provide electricity to charge and to give us the features and benefits that we like. Now, Cetus has been in this market for quite a while, but give us some background on it, please. <coughs> well, as I said, we were founded in 1982. We're a U.S. corporation. Our products are approved or preferred by all leading uh, hospitality, many corporations globally. We're interop certified with all the PBX and IP PBX cloud systems providers. We're shipping nearly a million phones annually, and I mentioned before we have millions installed globally, which we support. So every day, we're supporting probably three million plus phones all over the world. And we have locations here in the United States, in the United Kingdom, China, Malaysia, Dubai, and India to provide that support, not just after the sale, but the pre-sale support to help telecom resellers reach new markets and use creative selling because they have a manufacturer that can provide the phones and the technologies and the support that they need. I'd like to bring up these five items, good resources to go to to learn more about Cetus the phones and their applications, including text, podcasts, and the like. 
You also have available to you John Grubb directly. This is his uh, contact information, but also on LinkedIn, Vimeo, a set of portfolios, set of products that can help you get greater contact with this provider. Well, I'd like to thank you, John, and thank everyone for listening. Thank you, Gary. It's a pleasure to talk with you again.